Personal Log, Envoy Bannock. Stardate 48987.7. My assignment on Denivia is at last complete. I suppose it went well enough, but then again, not much can go wrong when all you're asked to do is attend formal dinners and smile graciously. Still, the Denivian Treaty will be a great help to the Federation's interest in the Gamma Quadrant. I've been recalled to Deep Space Nine to assist Ambassador Carey with a top priority assignment. Approaching wormhole. Dropping out of warp. Computer, continue one quarter impulse. Carrick didn't give much background, but he did ask for me personally. Strange. I always got the feeling he didn't think much of my abilities. Who knows, maybe this will be the assignment that changes his mind about me. I just hope I can impress the great Carrick with my... Computer, shields up! Evasive maneuvers! Damage report! Disruptor hits. Report SL damage. Identify attacker. Craft does not conform to any known configuration. Cut impulse. Heading change 180 mark zero. Full reverse impulse. Now. Computer, reverse angle on viewer. Where the hell is that wormhole? The wormhole is approximately... I see it. We're going to... Damn! Vertical stabilizers offline. Inertial barriers critical. Navigational shield failure imminent. Reroute all available power to shields. Now what? We have entered an active plasma storm. Will shields hold? Course change recommended. Computer, I need impulse control. Control circuit non-operational. Unable to comply with request. Great. I get my craft. Course. Headed for a collision. Deep Space Nine, this is Envoy Bannock. I have an emergency situation here. Can you hear me? Craft. I've got the ship's transfer. The Giordano Envoy Bannock ship looks like it's the beating of the plasma. Envoy Pat, can you read? Yes, Deep Space Nine. I can the read. Top systems are out. Stable. Well, he's completely out of control. And he's got a fractured plasma conduit. When any second. Computer, create a containment field for the damaged plasma conduit. Unable to comply with the plan. Get a lock on the now. Trying. The plasma storm is it's not the storm. The core plasma coil is loose. Computer! Vent plasma! I'm trying! Unable to comply with the plan. He's heading right to the docking Quick, reverse tractor beam. Slow down the approach and stabilize the ship. The controlled crash. I'm on it. Computer, cut power to the engines. Cut power. Unable to... You know, I'm getting very tired of hearing that. Or I know. You can read. They're headed to the outer dock. We're going to try and bring you in safely. Initiating graviton emitter. Let's hope the hull can take it. Hull integrity and got him. Dock 15 seconds. Slowing 100% maximum docking speed. 12 seconds. 180. 170. It'll be a rough dock. 140. Too fast. 140 is too fast. Seven. Recommendations? Four. Computer? Three. Computer! Two. Race for impact.
sort it out, sir. We're gonna have to phaser it. Then what are you waiting for? Right away, sir. Faster would be better, Ensign. I can't, sir. We don't want to... That's enough. But, sir... Stand aside, Carlton. I'm going through. You're alive. Good. Odo to Cisco. Go ahead. I'm on board the Orinoco, Captain. The automatic safety systems have failed. Envoy Bannock? Appears uninjured. I'm initiating emergency shutdown procedures. Very Constable. You've got eight minutes before the IPS overloads. I don't want any more fireworks today. Neither do I, Captain. Odo out. Envoy, if you're able to stand, I could use your help. The damage from the storm must have fractured a plasma conduit. We've got to shut down the main power relay before it overloads and floods this compartment with radiation. Hello! Welcome to Deep Space Nine. As you can see, we're in a slightly different perspective than before. We're now in first person view. Everything's looking very nice and shiny as well. And this is our lovely Constable Odo, head of security. And he is a shapeshifter, it's probably not exactly polite to point it out. I mean, he knows what he is. Let's see what he has to say. The main relay? Won't that disable life support? The station's life support systems will stabilize the cabin while the outer airlock is open, but that's not going to help us if the relay overloads. The damage to the ship? It wasn't the plasma storm. Not the plasma storm? Then... Whatever caused it, we've got to shut these systems down now. How can I help you? I think I can realign the plasma coil from here if you can repair the damage to the main propulsion grid. How should I access the grid? To your left, you'll see a panel marked Main Propulsion. There should be an alert flashing. You'll need to get inside the panel to vent off the plasma and replace the damaged chips. Okay, I'll find it. As you've just seen, unfortunately there is no subtitles in this game. We haven't got much time, Envoy. Okay, I'll find it. Even though this game is more detailed than some of the previous incarnations, there isn't much to interact with, which in some ways it makes things easier, but in other ways it kind of is not as, as, Im as immersive. So we can navigate by moving the mouse to the side of the screens, and there are also can access certain doorways through the game, but there's only one thing we can actually interact with on the screen, which is what we need to do now. Warning: Uncontained plasma in conduit B. Recommended action: Vent plasma. Plasma conduit sealed. And this mini game is very easy. We need to work out which of these systems are damaged, and we can work that out by matching them to these squares. They're, they're mirror imaged. Reactant injectors offline. And we move them by clicking the opposite square. Reactant injectors back online. It's as easy as that. If we take too long, then Odo will automatically work things out for himself. Plasma injectors offline. So we're not exactly stuck on here. Plasma injectors back online. Monitoring systems offline. Monitoring systems back online. Automatic safety systems back online. Shutdown completed. There we go. Easy as that. I did it. Shutdown completed. Odo to Cisco. It seems your envoy knows his engineering systems. The Orinoco is out of danger. Well done. I'll have the envoy beam directly to Ops. Envoy Bannock, welcome to Deep Space Nine. I'm Captain Benjamin Sisko, commander of the station. May I introduce my second-in-command, Major Kira Naris, and my science officer, Lieutenant Jadzia Dax. 
Envoy Bannock. We almost lost you, Envoy. What exactly happened to you in the Orinoco? Some ships attacked me on the far side of the wormhole. Attacked you? Major, go to yellow alert. Shields up. Activate station defenses. At once, Captain. Envoy Bannock, could you identify the craft that attacked you? Welcome to Ops. It's effectively like... Well, if you haven't seen the show, and seen if you haven't seen the other shows, then it's effectively, effectively the bridge. But this is a space station. But it's looking very, very quiet. There's normally more than three people here. Yes, as I came in, I noticed that they, or others of their type, are circling the station. With your permission, Captain, I'd like to have Odo verify the attack. Good idea, Major. Cisco to Odo. Constable, do you have the situation under control? Yes, Captain. It won't fly any time soon, but... Are the ship logs intact? Lieutenant Dax would like to see them. Yes, Captain. Did Envoy Bannock inform you his ship was attacked? Yes, Constable. Can you confirm that? Phased disruptors, Captain, intelligently aimed. The anti-proton residue is unmistakable. I'm sending what's left of the ship's records to you now. Thank you, Constable. Cisco out. Envoy, this attack has serious implications. These craft arrived with the aliens you and Ambassador Carrick must negotiate with. Before we alert the Ambassador, we must be absolutely certain that these drone craft attacked the Orinoco. Please step over to join Lieutenant Dax. Which aliens are these, Captain? Pardon me, Envoy. Of course you haven't been briefed. The aliens call themselves the Scythians. It's a first contact situation. Ambassador Carrick can tell you more about them. Captain, is Ambassador Carrick here on the station? Yes, he's in his quarters, anxiously anticipating your arrival. I believe he needs assistance with the aliens. Now I'll join Dax. Thanks, Captain. This game was developed, I believe, around 1995, which puts this... Well, we can kind of guess where this game is in proportion to the TV series as... It's quite an odd design choice to have Captain Sisko with a beard and hair. Because in the TV show, you only had this combination for a handful of episodes at the end of Series 3. So this game t seems to take place around Series... pre-Series 3 and 4? But anyway, let's go and speak to Dax. It's a little bit tricky to navigate around the ops. There's a lot of wide space, so it's quite nicely detailed com in comparison to the show. And I don't believe we can actually speak to Kira directly, especially not at the moment. But yes, we need to back up on, on ourselves. Here we go. Lieutenant, you have something to show me? Yes, Envoy. This is the playback of the station log. Tell me about that large ship. That's the vessel that brought the Scythian delegation to Deep Space Nine. The ship itself carries no weapons of any sort. No weapons at all? That's unusual. It's possible the small ships, the drones, act as bodyguards. They followed the Scythian ship here and then began to circle the station. And more and more of them keep appearing. Quite a little entourage. Those small ships. They're drones, actually. Robotic craft. No life forms on board any of them. When was this recorded? About 62 hours ago, Envoy. Just before the plasma storm surrounded the station. Those smaller ships look almost exactly like the ones that fired on me. Captain, the Envoy believes he was attacked by the Scythian drones. We'll verify that from his ship logs. This is the log we retrieved from your ship's computer. Parts of the records are damaged. Evasive maneuvers. Damage report. Forecast savage. Cut impulse. Heading one zero. Full verse in. There. I'm beginning an analysis. Let's get some answers, Lieutenant. I don't understand. The drones here have been completely docile. They had every opportunity to strike during the evacuation. 
Well, an evacuation would explain why there's so little people, especially in Ops. Which is more important, though. I mean, the evacuation, we'll probably, we'll probably learn both of these eventually. Why do you think they attacked me? We know the drones are unmanned and Voy. They behave in predictable ways. Stimulus, response. And the stimulus was? The Orinoco probably violated their alert zone. Their response? They attacked. The match is positive, Captain. This drone is configured exactly the same as those now surrounding Deep Space Nine. I believe if we actually went for the evacuation question, it would have been a very brief, oh, we evacuated, and then she would have given us an answer. Are they a threat to the station? I think it's time we found out. Major, contact Ambassador Carrick. We must have a serious talk with our Scythian friends. Lieutenant, analyze the drone behavior further. Why are they here? Impossible to tell. The plasma storm... Captain Carrick is in his room, but he doesn't respond. Envoy, if you could go to the habitat ring and rouse the ambassador. Captain, elevated neutrino levels. Something's coming through the wormhole. Envoy, belay that request. Lieutenant? It's a drone. Unmanned. Different. Sending out a signal. Captain, the drones are responding. It's an attack formation. Red alert. Phasers lock on. Dax, get me the Scythian ship. Hailing. Captain, the Scythian leader. Sir, our sensors indicate that your drones are taking up attack positions. What is the meaning of this? Attack? We will be forced to destroy the drones. Captain, we can't lock on. The plasma storm. Defend. Destroy. You want us to destroy? Hit a number one shield. Damn this storm. We're going to manual targeting. Everybody take a station. Bannock, you'll control bank five. Stand by. But Envoy Bannock is a diplomat with a weapons proficiency rating of 8. Major, release Bank 5 to Bannock. The bank is on manual targeting, Bannock. Releasing phasers to your control. Now! Captain, near reactor floor. I have them, Major. Damage on Deck 5. Moved out of my sector. I can't get a visual. Dax, the plasma. Compensating for visual interference. Captain, the drones are regrouping. That was shockingly bad. I remember when I was younger, replaying that certain scenario over and over again, trying to get pretty much every drone I could get hold of. That wasn't too bad. We survived. Oh, there is three difficulty settings in this, so that could have gone a lot worse. And failure is actually possible during that. One moment, Envoy. Captain, we have a ruptured bulkhead on Deck 5. Outer or inner bulkhead? Outer. Structural damage, too. I'll take this one, Major. Certainly, Captain. Rooting engineering control to you now. Tell me, Envoy. Your impressions of our enemy. 
They were boring in from every side. No evasive tactics, no pattern attacks, no enfilade. No self-preservation instinct. Just attack, and to hell with surviving it. They seem determined to destroy themselves, all right. But I thought their attack was... confused. Did their actions seem confused to you, Envoy? They weren't exactly organized as such. Yes, the attack seemed scattered. Yes, scattered. They didn't concentrate their fire. It doesn't make sense. Major, do you mean they deliberately held their fire? When we were fighting the Cardassians, sometimes we would attack an outpost, just to test its defenses, to plan our real attack. I'll research it, analyze the patterns of attack. I think we may be onto something. Good. In the meantime, the turbo lifts. I'm not showing damage, but they're down all over the station. Could you? Right away. Excuse me, Envoy. Okay, we can't speak to Dax at the moment. Turbo lifts are down, so we are, I wouldn't say stuck here. And unfortunately, we can't speak to Kira at the moment, so I guess talking to Cisco is the next option. But we will get it down. I'm just going to walk around momentarily. I want to explore the ship at least once before I start cutting around to save time. But yes, Dax and Cisco are pretty much the only ones we can speak to on here. Kira is not an option. Okay. Oh. Okay. Envoy, we seem to be out of danger for the moment. Go on, Captain. The drone attack has been repulsed, with minimal damage to Deep Space Nine. You're partly to thank for that. I was under the impression that Eutyrians don't value skills such as gunnery. Whoa, that's a bit harsh. Most Tyrians don't, Captain. But I find them useful from time to time. Yes. Dax showed me the reports about the hostage situation on Chimera's 10. You had a most undiplomatic role in that envoy. All five Sancusan fanatics shot dead. And a letter of reprimand from my superior. Ambassador Carrick. Yes, the most famous Tyrian of them all. I see. Still, Ambassador Carrick did ask for you, personally. We're out of danger, but we're still in trouble. We're cut off completely from help on Bajor, or reinforcements from Starfleet. And we're severely shorthanded. Shorthanded? Why, Captain? The station's been evacuated, Envoy, because of the storm. Plasma disruptions like this one have been known to rip ships and stations in two. Even tough old Cardassian ones. You can't even contact the planet of Bajor? No. The plasma storm makes the five-hour crossing a foolish risk. And subspace communications are out of the question. When will the plasma storm end, do you know? Good question. Lieutenant, report please on the plasma storm. Present intensity, estimated duration. Intensity up 20% overall. Duration anywhere from another 12 to 46 hours. Were you able to evacuate the station completely? Before the storm rose, I mean. Yes, or almost. Transports took about 500 people to Bajor for safety. Almost all the station personnel. But one transport didn't make it out, isn't that right, Major? An old Subite freighter. First they were hung up on a docking clamp, then stabilizer problems. They were lucky to make it back to the station. The passengers are now in a designated safe zone. Level 7, Section 5. Otherwise known as Quark's Bar. A Ferengi establishment. Yes. Less than two dozen people on board and still insist on staying open. There's probably a rule of acquisition that addresses even this situation. The riskier the road, the greater the profit. Number 62. There's not much profit when there's only like two dozen, well, a couple dozen people left on the station. How may I assist you, Captain? You must help Ambassador Carrick open up lines of communication with the Scythians. We've got to determine their relationship to the drones. Are they enemies? Or are we... Captain, the drone that fled the station attack. It was recording data the whole time. Locations of our phaser banks, shield generators, our vulnerable spots. Permission to pursue, Captain. Permission denied, Major. We need the Defiant. Dax, I want you to analyze these drone activities. All of them. Right now it's the only clue we have to their intentions. Major Kira, I want you to load a weapon sled onto one of the runabouts and prepare it for immediate deployment. 
Right away, Captain. I'll use the Hudson. It's more maneuverable. I'll be finished here in a few minutes. Now, Envoy, where were we? We were talking about communicating with the Scythians. Yes. You understand the importance, don't you, Envoy? The Scythians are our best link to whoever or whatever has taken a dislike to our being here. We're depending on Ambassador Carrick to open that link. And the Ambassador is obviously depending on your help. What are the details, Captain? You'd best learn the details from the Ambassador. Where are the Scythians now? Their ship is moored at the end of Corridor A, docking Bay 3. Security is watching them. Where can I find Ambassador Carrick? His quarters are in the Habitat Ring, Cabin 6A. It shouldn't be hard to find. If you have any trouble, contact Odo, our Chief of Security. Odo is the shapeshifter. Changeling is a more diplomatic term, Malik. I'll leave now and report to Ambassador Carrick in his quarters. Good. Dax. See if you can restore power to the turbolift. After all he's done for us, I'd rather not force Envoy Bannock to use the stairs. I'm trying. Envoy, I can get you as far as the promenade. You'll have to walk from there. Thank you, Envoy. That's all. There we go. Well, it's time to explore the station. Computer. Take me to the promenade. Due to emergency security precautions, promenade access has been restricted. Areas currently available to access are Section 5, Level 7 and 8. Please specify desired destination. We may as well start from top to bottom. Promenade, Level 8, Section 5. 